Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we'll look at how to configure a data source in WSO2 EI. I'll be using the WSO2's uh, uh, admin portal to configure the data source and uh, we'll be configuring an H2 database. So let's see how to uh, configure it. The first thing is to log into the admin console of WSO2. So I have the URL already available here and I have a WSO2 instance running in my machine and it is up and running. So switch to the console, log into the console. So I'm using the default username and password provided with the product and it is admin and uh, admin, the username is admin and the password is admin. Login, once you're in, you will see a, a, a tab, configure. So click on the configure tab. Um, I'm already on the configure tab, so um, that's what you can see here. And out of the options available here, click on the data source. Once you click on data source, you will see the pre-configured databases. I have multiple of them configured. So to add a new data source, click on add data source. Now if your database, uh, the data uh, base that you're going to ask, add, if it's an RDBMS database, select RDBMS. In our case, we are going to add an H2 database. So give it a name for your data source. So I'm going to give my H2DB description. You can leave it blank. That's not a mandatory field. I'm going to give a description indicating that's a local DB. Data source a provider. There are two options. One is to configure an external data source and the other one is a default option. Click on default. Now you have to select the database engine. When you click on the drop down, it shows the list of databases supported by WSO2. In this case, I'm going to use H2. So select H2. Once you select H2, it automatically, the next two fields automatically gets filled. Uh, it indicates which driver to be used and the URL um, and the, the basically the connection URL. If you go for any other, uh, for example, if you are trying to connect to an Oracle, it uh, populates the corresponding database driver and the connection URL. So moving on, I'm selecting H2. And the driver to be used is org.h2.driver and the URL. Um, so I have to configure the correct URL. So in this case, I'm going to use a local instance. So I'll have to write a local host and then I have to give my data source name. So my data, uh, my, the database name that I have is test. And now I have a specific schema to be connected. So in this, in that case, I have to give schema equal to the name of my schema. So this is the schema name that I go to connect. Now you have to provide a username and password. So let me give a username and password. Once that is done, you can verify your configurations by clicking on the test connections. The, the connection is showing healthy, which means you have successfully connected to the database. Now save your connections. Once that is done, you will see uh, the new database appearing here. So my H2DB was the one that we configured. And then, so that's appearing here. Now, if you wish to edit a configuration, for example, you've con and you want to edit an existing database configuration, then you can go here and edit the configurations and you have an option to change the password as well. So in this case, I'm not gonna do that. So cancel that. Now your database configuration is intact. Thanks for watching.